Hello everyone, welcome back to Containerizing Blue Prism application demo part 2. Uh, in this demo, we'll be uh, demonstrating a new architecture and uh, this will be our final demo and after this, uh, I'll demonstrate to you how to uh, create the images and other stuff so that you can build on your own. I hope you like this video. Let us continue with the demo pack. The architecture looks like this. For this demo purpose, I'm using Windows 2019 machine as my Docker master. And I have a Linux Docker node, which is connected to that master. My Windows Docker machine will be uh, hosting two instances of Blue Prism server. On the other hand, my Linux Docker node will be hosting a single instance of SQL server. As we'll be starting the Blue Prism server as a service inside Docker, so we'll not be using any external load balancing. Rather, we'll be using Swarm load balancer to load balance the traffic between the Blue Prism client and the servers. So let us see the servers in action and proceed with the demo. I have two servers here. One is the client, another is the virtual machine. This is my master, Docker master. So let me show you what we have here. So Docker node LS will tell you that, uh, okay, this machine that is the VM1 is basically the leader or the master. I have another system, Linux VM, which is my uh, node only. Uh, the VM2, I already decommissioned, so it is not there anymore. Let me now show you uh, the Linux VM that we have. In Linux VM, we have Microsoft SQL Server. Surprisingly, Microsoft has their SQL Server instance or image available for Ubuntu. So I have downloaded the same and kept uh, already in the system. Now let's go back to this machine and let's see what we have here. So among the images, we have um, Blue Prism 6.6 .6 image that I have created and hosted in my Docker Hub. This is just a vanilla install of Blue Prism on top of Windows Server Core. The another one, BP Server, is a locally available image which I created by tuning the Blue Prism 6.6 .6 image. And the same one will be used for our demo as well. So before we proceed, let us check the services status first. So Docker service LS is showing nothing. So basically there is no service that is running in the system at this moment. So let me pull up the SQL first. And uh, I have those commands already executed earlier. So I think I can get it quickly. So this is the command. And uh, let's start with that one. So I'll be pulling up only one instance of SQL server. So the command executed successfully. If you come back to the Linux VM and run docker container ls, you'll be able to see the SQL instance that is running. So it took a couple of seconds to come up. And if you see the uptime, it is 17 seconds. And that is the beauty of this. So by this way, we have the um, SQL server up and running. Now all you need to do is to bring up the Blue Prism server service. Let me execute that command. Okay, this is the command that we are going to run to create the Blue Prism instances. And I have asked for two replicas. So um, it will create two replicas of uh, Blue Prism instance. Okay, so let's bring up this one. So you see there's no such image is coming because it is trying to pull up the instance in uh, the Linux server, which does not have the image for Blue Prism server because Blue Prism server is actually Windows image and you cannot install that on a Linux machine. So what the Docker is trying right now is that it is trying to distribute the Blue Prism instances among the nodes, but which is not possible in our case because the second node is basically a Linux node. So after a few retries, you will see uh, that Docker will assign the same server for the second instance as well. 
okay it seems that the docker finally able to pull up both the instances and the system is up let's check the containers so docker container ls will give you the list of containers that are up and running so you can see two blue prism server containers that are running and i can see these were created around 57 seconds 34 seconds ago and uptime is also quite good so we are ready to proceed with the third stage that is the demo part again we'll be using the same notepad application so i have modified little bit of it so that uh, people can read it easily during the demo okay so let's go ahead with the demo section before we start the demo uh, let's check the blue prism interactive client and see the connection parameters so we'll click on the configuration connection and basically we are pointing to the vm1 which is our master docker node you see that we are pointing to vm1 and the port is 8199 this is where the service is published we'll log into the system using admin account And this is the typical error you generally get when you first time connect to the swarm service so you have to give it a few try and then you'll see that the error will automatically disappear now we are logged in we'll go to the control room and we'll wait for the bp client to come online our notepad application is published already so give it few seconds and it will it should come up okay i think the bp client should be up and running now so yeah so let's assign the notepad application to the bp client now we are gonna start the demo So it started the application you can see that it is going and it is writing from previous step how much time it took and something like that so let me start interrupting the server now so let let me see the behavior of the system so i think it is connected to the second one so let's uh, go ahead and stop the second one let's see the behavior of the system so it's stopped now you see it's not uh, writing anything so we are stopped at uh, step number 230 but just to let you know the docker service always make sure the number of replicas are available so even though it is not connected because the bull prism client takes some time to connect back but the docker actually started all those blue prism servers so if you go back to the docker machine and give a docker container ls you will see both the instances are already up and running and if you see the uptime it is uh, almost 51 seconds the first one and the 22 seconds the second one but if you want to know exactly why it is not connected then you have to actually look deep into the client logs if you see uh, the client is actually trying to connect back to the server in two minutes so the blue prism client is configured to retry after two minutes which i think you can tune for this environment or if you wanted to leave it default then you have to understand that it is going to take uh, two minutes time to uh, connect it back so among the information you can see in the top delays we have 57 seconds delay that is the maximum delay we got by just killing the instance okay one final test to check what happens if the only sql instance is down that way the blue prism servers will not have access to any database now 
remember we are running the sql server as a service so docker will very quickly bring up uh, a second instance you see in just few seconds it bring up a new instance of the sql server okay so let's come back to the page you see there was some error could not able to connect now it is connected back and it is proceeding so this part is fine so we are gonna finish the stuff and uh, let's see how it goes so you can see that we got 15 seconds of delay uh, here for this switching so when the database went down it took 15 seconds for that and that is the beauty of this architecture and it is very prominent now the benefits think about the situation when you have robots to run at night and your database or your blue prism server went down you need to have a monitoring or a eye or a manual intervention to bring them up where in case of docker it continuously monitor and uh, remove that dependency i hope i'm able to clarify myself properly so before we go i wish you all a happy chinese new year I will come back with the last video of this series where I'll explain the installation part. Thank you and have a good day.